the PCA's YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Today, we bring to you a very special car. About two years ago, we traveled to Germany to TechArt's headquarters and introduced to you the 991 GT Street R. Today, we have for you the 992 GT Street R. And the reason why it's here is they actually brought it to a new event that we held in Huntington Beach last weekend. They brought it to Unstock, a show that was focused on modified Porsches. And this is certainly a modified version of a 911 Turbo S. I'm gonna bring in Kevin from TechArt. TechArt made such an amazing impression on all of the attendees at Unstock. What did you think of it and why is the car here? Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, like you said, it's the very first one in the US, so we are more than happy to have it brought it here just in time uh, to show it at Unstock. And it was a pleasure that everyone was uh, bringing happy faces and was quite impressed because it's a spectacular look, of course. Absolutely. So when I was in Germany at your headquarters, all the tech art cars were hand built at that facility. If I understand it correctly, you have a partner here in the United States that actually built this car. Yes, uh, we recently founded TechArt North America here in the US. So we have various partners around the US uh, doing installations and being TechArt partners um, so that we are much closer to our customers and all the Porsche enthusiasts uh, around the US and North America. Um, this car has been built by Creative Bespoke, which is our partner in Phoenix, and it was uh, just last week at uh, SEMA in Las Vegas. And that's where we got to see it for the first time. And thank you very much for agreeing to bring it to our event last weekend. Now, this car, was it a customer that brought it to Creative Bespoke and they built it? Or was it sort of a marketing car that Creative Bespoke purchased, did the conversion and then sold it? It's actually the latter. Okay. So it was uh, bought as a base model and uh, now it's actually for sale as well. Um, but yeah, it's a, just a demo car or the very first one in the US to, to really show it and exhibit it and to bring you guys in, to have you guys drive it. Um, and that's why it's, uh, yeah, we are very happy to even have it here. Now I find it pretty funny that you recall this car as a base model because it's actually started life as a Turbo S, which is anything but base. <laughs> but let's, let's, let's start from the front of the car. So I know there's lots of carbon on this, a lot of exposed carbon from the hood. Fenders and bumpers also carbon? Uh, that's right. So uh, to start off, the uh, GT Street R package is uh, limited to 87 units. And it consists basically of the aero kit, the front bumper, side skirts, the big rear wing and a, a rear fender and um, uh, the wider wheel arches. Uh, the wheels, it's our Formula 6 uh, race wheel. We have center locks here with uh, optionally the carbon fiber aero discs and the uh, sports exhaust system because otherwise the stock exhaust wouldn't fit anymore into the rear fender. So we have our own uh, more emotionally sounding exhaust system and in the front uh, we have polyurethane with uh, carbon fiber elements and the customer can really choose if he wants the pinstripe in a different color, uh, what kind of carbon fiber does he want, matte, glossy, forged. Uh, so we have uh, four carbon fiber options on that. Um, and then of course you can really decide uh, to do the color um, of the carnets in a contrasting color. There are endless possibilities all around the aero kit to individualize it. Uh, since we are TechArt, we offer no limits in terms of color and individualization. We have one car built in Germany, which is British Racing Green. Um, we have all kinds of color options and we can do all paint to sample as well. Now, I remember visiting uh, with you all, the cars were taken down to almost to the bare chassis. Um, those cars were built where you even did the uh, leather floors and uh, custom hides, custom steering wheel. Now this car, because it was built stateside, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, this car was not as, uh, as an intrusive as a, of a build. Exactly. So we are, of course, we, uh, it was quite a short notice because the base models are quite rare these days, the, the 911 Turbo S. We were lucky to get one uh, just in time for SEMA and it received one of the very first uh, kits, especially the first one in the US. So we just uh, made it in time for the US, but it received a steering wheel from us, which uh, can be bought for any Porsche model from us. Uh, the pedals in the interior and some carbon fiber uh, elements as well. But uh, in general, besides the GT Street R package, we offer full power upgrades in two stages and we offer full interior options. So um, on the cars we built in Germany, for example, we have a wide variety between 
very sporty interior and a more classic traditional looking interior but there are like I said before no limits. So let's go back to the base model as you recall. <laughs> a Turbo S has how much horsepower and the package, the power packages that are available in the GT Street R. What, how much can you elevate the power? Um, so the base model starts at uh, 650 horsepower and we offer two power upgrades. Uh, the first one is uh, with our Techa Techtronic. So it's like a piggyback solution, uh, which doesn't uh, interfere with the um, ECU. So it's quite easy plug, uh, plug and play, basically, plug, plug and drive. Yeah. Uh, and it offers 710 HP. Wow. And it also bumps the Newton meter, of course. And the second power upgrade is with new turbochargers to uh, 800 horsepower. It's uh, insane acceleration. It's really unbelievable and uh, offers uh, 950 Newton meter. Oh my goodness. Now, I remember when I had the opportunity to drive the 991 version um, and it really felt like I had rockets strapped <laughs> to my back. And this one, is it just even more of that? Uh, so in my opinion, uh, I drove uh, our 800 HP version a lot in, in, in Germany and also on the racetrack. And to be honest, it feels like a, like a living beast. Because the, the turbo breathes and whistles and it's just such a very iconic way of experiencing the car. It's really, you, you get one with the car, especially on the racetrack. But then, of course, it's a 911 Turbo S as a base model, so it's perfect to drive to the city, to the city for vacation. We did uh, 1,400 kilometers to Austria and back, went to the racetrack there, and it just works. It just works. It's just uh, unbelievable. So does it retain its all-wheel drive system from yeah. the Turbo S? Exactly. Yeah. So you drove this. Well, we're here in Huntington Beach, and uh, I can't tell you all the people. You probably, hopefully, with this video, see. It garners a lot of attention. A 911 Turbo S is already an attention-grabbing car. This takes it to the next level. And again, remembering how the 991 was, and, and I got to drive this um, earlier, like it still has like that factory feel, like everything, the closing of the doors, the finishes. Um, it's, it's still very much usable as an everyday car. 100%, so you got that really right because our philosophy is um, to keep the the uh, base functionality, like the active aerodynamics in the rear wing and the front splitter, uh, we keep, we, we don't take any functionality away. We just add uh, whatever we can to make the car better. We add more aerodynamic. We have four times more downforce in the back and we have reduced the lift in the front axle by, by 50%. So it's just a much more balanced car without taking any way of the uh, base model functionality. And that's what I think I really appreciate about what you all do at TechArt. You've been doing it since 1987. You've been introducing sort of these wilder body kits to the car, but it's not just for looks. You actually put the R&D into making sure the downforce is correct front to rear. Because as uh, many of us know that uh, drive on the track, it's got to perform as good as it looks. Absolutely. The uh, Porsche enthusiasts, they are very well aware of what works on a car and what doesn't. So, uh, of course, we uh, do crash testing with the car. We do wind tunnel testing. So all of our aero kits, not only for the GT Street R, but also for the other uh, 911 models, are really wind tunnel tested. And for us, it's really important to have an improvement over the base model. Um, and that's what we want to deliver. And that's our promise as a brand. So now that you are stateside uh, or have the availability to build these cars stateside, What's the, the, the lead time to be able to have one? Uh, right now, so we already have uh, approximately 30 units uh, that will go out. So it's uh, quite uh, in demand, really high in demand. And uh, if you order one now, you will be probably in March, April to get, uh, to get your arrow kit and your build. Uh, so there's a, quite a long lead time, which is good for us because it's very, very high in demand. Um, but yeah, so you would be ready for next summer. Now, will uh, all of those cars be built at Creative Bespoke? Uh, no, you can have it uh, built at a facility which uh, you are very 
uh, fond with and where you're very happy and where you have a trustworthy relationship in your local oh, region. Okay. So we have a few uh, partners in specific regions where we have like a long lasting relationship and of course if a customer is from that area we would uh, recommend them if they don't have any partner yet but in general we are not bound to any specific exclusive partner in the US.